Hi, I'm doing lesson four on page 31 of the reveal book. And um, lesson four goes through sketching graphs and comparing functions that uses what you know in order to figure out what a graph will look like and you actually sketch them. So these are all the features of a graph that we've gone over most of them. Remember, extrema are max and mins. And behavior, you need to know the correct notation as it goes to infinity is the right. And what's the function doing if it goes to negative infinity, which is the left? These two are a little different. So I know we've talked about positive and negative and symmetry, you know what that is. But we've talked about positive and negative and behavior. We're When we're saying even positive and even negative, we are talking about end behavior. But this is talking about the graph. So if I have a positive graph, that means the whole graph is maintained where y is positive, OK? And if a graph is negative, that means the entire graph is below 0 for y. Now, increasing and decreasing are new and a little different. I'm going to draw over here. So we have this function. And we have the ends that go off up, go off down. But what I tell everyone is for increasing and decreasing, pretend our function is a roller coaster. And we are riding this roller coaster, and we read graphs left to right. So as we get on this roller coaster, right here, we are increasing. Then we get to the top, and then we're going down, decreasing. And then, so this is increasing, decreasing. And then we're going back up, I guess, to outer space, we are increasing. OK, so if we're riding this roller coaster, we're going up, increasing, decreasing, increasing again. All right, the first example they did for you, I wish they wouldn't do that, but the book does it. OK, so we use the key features to do this. Let me see if I can make it bigger. So we got a y-intercept of negative 70, which is this point right here. It is linear. So it is positive for values of x such that x is less than negative 30. So here's my x, here's negative 30, and it is positive. It's above that x-axis left of there. It's decreasing for all values, which is a negative slope, and our graph does have a negative slope. And then here's our end behavior. The right side, it's going down. And the left side, negative infinity, is going up. So there's our graph. Easy to see when it's already drawn for you. So let's do one now that's not drawn for us. So we have a y-intercept of 0, 3. 3 is between 2 and 4. It is nonlinear, so it's not a straight line. Remember that you only need two points to draw a straight line. It is continuous, so it's all connected. It is positive for all values of x, so it's just all going to happen up here. Decreasing less than 0. So here's less than 0. So less than 0, it's decreasing, and I know it crosses that point. Okay, so that's less than 0. This is the end behavior that is not increasing or decreasing. That's the end. It has a minimum at 0, 3. So since this is a minimum, I know this right side is going up. So there's my minimum. It's all positive. The right side is going up. The left side is going up. So it looks like it is a parabola. I'm not going to do example three. I'm going to jump to example four. So in order to learn as much as we can about graphs, we need to be able to compare them, look at different characteristics. So this is a comparison. A lot of people get confused with this because they see two things and they're used to seeing the table with the values for the graph. That is not the case. This is f of x. This is a function f of x. This is named f. This is a function g of x. This one's named g. They are not the same function. So the x-intercept of f is highlighted for us. It is 3. 
So I'm just going to put that here because we're going to compare the two. Our x-intercept of g is negative 2. So f of x intersects the, intersects the x-axis at a point farther to the, so remember this is f of x, to the right, than g of x. Now we're going to do the y-intercept. I think I have enough room to show that there. So the y-intercept, again, is highlighted, so negative 1. So that would be like right here. The y-intercept of g is 4. So g intersects the y-axis at a higher point than f of x, or greater. Higher or greater would be fine. So let's go to the slope. Now, I know this is linear because they use the word slope. So slope is change of y over the change in x. Since this is linear, I'm just going to jump to the positive values. This goes up by 1. This goes up by 3. So my slope for f of x is 1 over 3. My slope for g of x is from this point to this point. We rise to run 1. So m is 2 over 1, which is 2, 2 and 1 third. Increasing, each function is increasing because they're both positive slopes, but the slope of g is greater than the slope of f, which is true. So g increases faster than f. Now let's look at these two and compare two functions. Right here, rate of change. These are both linear. Rate of change is slope. But we usually don't say slope unless it is linear. So that's a new word. So the slope of this is negative. Down 1, right 2. So the slope of this one is negative 1 half. The slope of this one is 2 over 1. So 2. So G has a faster slope than F. G slope is negative one half, F is two, that is not true. The x-intercept of G is greater than the x-intercept of F. F. x-intercept of G looks like four, x-intercept of F is one, so it's right there, so that looks true. The y-intercept of f is greater than the x-intercept of g. So again, x is 4. The y-intercept is negative 2, so that one's not true. Both functions are decreasing. This one's only with the negative, not true. f of x increases while g of x decreases. That is true because f of x is positive slope, g of x is negative slope. And then f of x has a faster rate of change than g of x. I'm sorry, this is the end of the day that I'm taping this. f of x has a faster rate of change than g of x. True, because f of x is positive, g of x has a negative slope. All right, if you want to do more examples, see more examples, these are comparing graphs. Um, you could try to sketch f of x. Here is g of x with some descriptors, but I'm not going over example five. So your assignment for lesson four is page 35, and it's graph one through eight. Use graph paper or use your notebook that has graph paper in it. Thank you. Let me know if you have questions.